So lately I've been trying to read a lot more and I picked up three books. The first one that I want to talk about today is Odriel's Heirs, which was written by Haley Reese Chow. Uh, she gave it to me for review and I do have a full review up on Goodreads. It's like having all three Lord of the Rings books compressed together into one book and then set in a universe that's kind of like Avatar The Last Airbender, the series, not the movie. And it's, it's very original in the way that she builds her universe. I think it's very thoughtful in the universe that she has. I also really like her action sequences because most of those action sequences don't have this big, huge choreographed thing where this person does this thing, and this person does this thing, and this is this, this. Instead, it's much more about her impressions of the main character, Kaya's impressions of the battle as she goes through it. The storyline follows Kaya, who is the dragon's heir, one of three uh, sacred chosen wielders of magic that fight against Nifris, who is a, a necromancer thing that raises armies of the undead every once in a while just for giggles. And the story follows her and the shadow heir as they go to fight uh, this Nifris character and all the things that have to do with it along the way. It's it's a good plot. It really is a good plot. And the only thing that I really wish is that the story took more time developing the characters rather than having them walking from one area to another. There's a lot of spots where they were just kind of walking along in their travels and not really doing anything, just thinking about when they were doing something. And then at other times, it would completely skip past points that could have shown us the characters that were developing. And I think that was just some choices. Honestly, uh, Haley Reese Chow has a lot of potential. This is her debut novel. So I think she can do some really amazing things in future things. And you should probably go take a look at it. And again, the rest of this review is up on Goodreads.